there. I'm Connie, and um, my I'm known as Cornelia Ward. That's my business name, but my nickname is Connie, and I'm here today with Donna Ward, who's a social media coach and intuitive, and we're talking today about the Limitless Living giveaway, um, and I'm going to define, I'll tell you a little bit more about that and what giveaways are if you're not familiar with what you know how online giveaways work and how you could benefit to which you definitely can um, but what I want to tell you before I forget is that this giveaway ends on Thursday at midnight which is Eastern Standard Time US today is the 10th so it ends you've got two more days um, if you're watching this live or today on the 10th um, so it ends at, at midnight on Thursday so let me just talk to you a little bit about what giveaways are um, so an online giveaway is where you as, you know, let's just, you know, pretend like you're like most of us, right? And you have some kind of burning question on your mind, right? You have some problem that's been keeping you up at night. So you're constantly searching for the answers to that, right? You're looking for guidance around that. Whoops, there goes my phone. Sorry about that. Um, and um, and so so chances are that in this online giveaway that I'm about to describe, you will find some kind of a, an idea for or a tip or a way for you to actually um, a way for you to actually, excuse me, just a second. A way for you to actually um, solve those issues. So, um, so here's an example. So, so when I was, I don't know, it was about three or four years ago in my business, I was trying to figure out how to start start a mastermind group, and I kept hearing my colleagues talk about that, um, and they kept, you know, they kept mentioning it, and I kept looking for answers like, how do I start a mastermind group? And then um, a couple of months later. Uh, a colleague of mine who's a business coach actually created a free report about how to start your own mastermind group and it was very simple and I just went bum 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 and I went through the steps and I created my mastermind group and I made like fifty thousand dollars from that online gift from that gift so these gifts can be pretty valuable so if you think about it this was the you know kind of my one of my most pressing problems in my business was how am I going to create um, a mastermind group and then it was it was solved and I didn't have to pay anything. I just basically I got this this gift. Excuse me. And so what the online giveaway is, is it's um kind of a hub, if you will, like a website where you go log in, you know, you share your email and your your um your name, you log in, and when you get into the website, um then you will find a list of all these gifts that people are giving. So there are people like Donna who's giving gifts, you know, and she'll talk about hers in a second. You know, I have gifts that are in there. So all of us who are entrepreneurs who want to make the world a better place, we're all kind of contributing our gifts. So like you'll click on Donna's gift and it'll take you to her website and you'll opt in and enter your email and your name on that website. And then you'll either get the, the um, report that she has her freebie right on the next page or you'll get it via email often people will do both everybody's a little bit different but either any case those are just details you'll you'll get this great freebie okay um, and then of course you know Donna will stay in touch with you via email because she knows that you know you're interested in what um, she has to offer and you know there may be something else that she can support you with okay so um, in terms of um, how the giveaway works when you first and we're gonna I've got the link that I'll share and I'll post below here once we're done with the video in this post but basically you click on that link and when you when you go to log in so you'll, you'll enter your name and your email so I just want a full disclosure because I don't want there to be any confusion so the way the software is set up is that you will first of all see something that you can purchase that's got I don't know it's worth two hundred dollars and it's being offered for fifty dollars okay so there's you'll that's the first thing you'll see when you go in but just don't get confused that's just the software you might want to check out those offers because there's some pretty yummy stuff that is offered for a very little amount of money in a, in a great gift 
Um, but otherwise, just opt out of that. You just say, no, thank you. And then it'll bring you right to the page that has all the gifts. So that's how the giveaway works. It's just basically, it's a website where you can log in and you can go grab um, gifts. And the other thing that's cool is that people are adding gifts all the time to these giveaways. So it's worth going in and checking out more than once. Um, so that's how a giveaway works. And that's how giveaways can be really, really valuable for people. I'm co-hosting the Limitless Living giveaway. Um, it's actually a month, monthly giveaway. We're in the middle of this month's giveaway. Um, and I co-host that with Daniel Fiore and Jonathan Chow. Um, and so we love to have people who are also entrepreneurs who are contributing their gifts, like Donna, um, to, to be here. So it's great. It's great to have you here, Donna. And um, can you just talk a little bit about the freebie that you have in the giveaway and who it's for? Thank you. I'd love to do that. Thank you so much for interviewing me about this gift and for allowing me and inviting me to be on your giveaway. And I did not know you did it monthly. That's pretty exciting. And you gave a wonderful explanation about giveaways. Thank you for doing that. I'll be sharing um, all of this information. I'm going to do a blog post also. I forgot to share that with you. And I'll share the video there. I can be found on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Ask Coach Donna. So the Facebook checklist that I'm giving away is one of, let's see, three or four gifts that I have up. But this one was um, one that people were saying they liked a lot. The other one got five stars, so I guess they're all good. But um, the Facebook checklist that I'm offering in this giveaway is about getting more connected to your audience and growing your visibility. It's not how to grow your likes, although it all ties in together. It's not like step-by-step um, -step how to set up your page. This is how to grow your visibility and get some engagement going on and hopefully some business and have some fun while you're doing it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, of course, is always consider your goals on social media and on Facebook in this case. So it could be building visibility, which is what this is about. And be sure to ask questions if I'm not clear on this, Connie, because I love answering questions. Sure. Um, thank you. So it, it could also be your goal could be getting traffic to your website or blog, which I've shared before um, a few years ago. I think it's going on three and a half now. I tested something every morning because I go to bed early so that I can get up early and it's quiet in the morning. And I did a blog post. Now I only do one a week. Back then I was testing this though. I was doing one a day and then I was promoting it on Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. And I, by the end of the year, had 30,000 people visit my website. That was shocking. And I, even my son who does stuff like this was like, wow, that's a lot. And I also was building my list between one to six people a day because I had an opt-ins going on in my blog post. Mm. So that was spectacular. I, I would love to be doing that again, but now because of all of that, I've grown my list and I've also grown my client base. And so I'm busier for different reasons. So that's another good reason, though, to uh, grow your list on Facebook is a great way to um, also grow your visibility. And in the checklist, I, I share a little bit about how to do that. There's other the other gifts on there. Um, I have go into that a little bit more even. And um, for me, it's also one of my goals is to um, not spend more than 30 or 45 minutes a day on Facebook mm -hmm. and being consistent. And that's what I teach my clients. And that means setting up a schedule. And once you know the steps that I'm going to go through, once you have that in your head, then you kind of are, it'll take a while, maybe some of you are already there, but it'll take a, um, a short while to get your schedule where you want it to be happening. So the first thing I share is to make sure your profiles, which seems like, oh, yeah, my profiles are all good, but um, make sure that they're, they're set up as effectively as possible. Really, all you do and when you're, you're building your visibility online or on Facebook, includes your profiles because they also need to have your SEO going on in there. And it helps grow your content because then people will read your profiles and say, well, she's, he, she sounds really interesting. I want to check it out. Mm -hmm. uh, so all of it ties together. So and as key elements that help your marketing message uh, be more persuasive and, and helps you be more likable along with your message. 
So it could tie in easily to number two, which is getting clear on who your audience really is and then offering them. And my audience for this are small businesses, entrepreneurs, and of course, I love working with intuitives because I click into them and mm -hmm. that's more fun for me because we click in with each other. And But that's my audience and I help them along. Sometimes they're just beginners and they're so frustrated with, with uh, Facebook and other times they're, they've been on it for a while but they're not getting anywhere. So that's who my audience is and I love to share with them how to grow their Facebook page and get more engagement. And it's fun when they say, I'm getting more engagement. It's like, yeah, that's what you're supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. So it also means um, staying focused on how you solve your audience's problems. So um, you have to make a list. And I'm putting together, actually, a new program for that. I just remembered, which is about your marketing message. And when you do your marketing message, it also reflects in everything that you post everything that you do it's part of it's your foundation and so whenever you post even the funny ones are going to have a bit of your message in it so getting to know your audience means that you know what they want to see you also know that you can go back to your profile anytime you want and revise it as you grow and become more aware of what your audience needs and wants and what you want to share with them to entice them to want more. Remember that your audience is the group of people that you want to educate and that you're posting to attract. Then the only thing that matters is what your audience actually wants. Now you know what they need, you need to also know what they want. Sometimes we think giving them what they need is what they want. It's like giving your little child or your puppy um, a walk you know go for a walk from that's what they want and it's also what they need so you're doing both and that's what you want to do in your post so it's then it becomes a winning solution for you because you're mixing them together and that's what your goal is for your audience another example is say that I see an ad on TV when I want to buy new tires for my car now I live in a snow area which many of you do and let's say I, I see an ad that says you know buy these tires and um, they work really well in the weather of snow and rain and they grab and all this and it shows pictures of them. Okay, that's good, but there's a lot of tires that do that, right? A lot of customers are looking for that. But when they talked about adding on a free tire rotation every so often and also fixing your flat tires, now my ears perked up. It's like, oh, and they're nearby. That would grab me. Because now I want that convenience along with what I need, the type of tires for my area. So it's again mixing it. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, that's great. It just makes it very tangible. Thank you. Oh, good. Okay. So your goal then is to pay attention to what they talk about, like big marketers do. And then you're going to also listen in to those conversations and you're going to ask questions and what they talk about, who they talk about with, and Maybe they want to become stress-free, and maybe you offer something for that. And maybe they, they want, but what do they want that stress-free offers? They want the freedom of being able to relax. They want to not have to have that stress. So you have to really dig into what is it they really want. You can put out surveys and, and ask questions and dig deeper. These are three rules that I made up for myself, three rules of Facebook marketing. Number one, invite your audience into your, um, I'm reading this now, invite your audience into your world, be social, and it's a way that you offer your information to them, and then make all the difference in the way you offer it and what you say to them. Uh, number two is create relevant, timely, useful, fun, and compelling content, and do it consistently. That's where our schedule comes in. Mm -hmm. And then number three, start conversations that makes a difference and helps uncover needs and wants. So um, these you can change and add your rules there, and I could even go on and add more rules, but those are the top three. Um, something that you can do too is, uh, I think I go over that, in, I do go over it in checklist, is um, put in the effort 
on your Facebook page, when you put in the effort, your Facebook page then will show the real interest of your audience. It'll get them attracted to you and persuade them to come over and check you out. And some people, like when I first start with somebody new especially, they'll ask, well, when will I start getting engagement? And when will I grow my likes? Well, it doesn't happen right away for most people unless you start ads, but you really need to have somebody, if you're going to do that, you need to have a specialist do it for you because you need to know your audience really well before you start doing ads and you, and you kind of need to know where they hang out. But as you do more and more of this, you'll get to that point and you probably will start seeing some growth and engagement at least after the first month, if not the first three months. So set a realistic goal and, and work on it every day. Okay, and online customer engagement means that you'll need to um, become an expert at cutting through all that noise. So pay attention to what, this is what I love, what your competition is doing. And see if they're actually getting a lot of engagement. What are they doing to cut through that noise and get that engagement? You don't need to copy them, but you certainly can model what they're doing. And then you also want to strive for connecting an emotional connection that drives interest and future sales for you. That's your ultimate goal. And um, so then you'll start engaging and responding to other people on your Facebook page and also in groups. Now, I was not a big person to go to groups and make comments until I started um, interacting and people started then noticing me. All I did was interact. I didn't try to sell anything. Mm -hmm. And they started wanting to become my friend. And then when they started wanting to become my friend, they'd see what I posted and I'd ask them to like my page. And uh, they would sometimes opt into some of my free gifts, but also especially on my Facebook group that I have. So that was pretty much fun. And I grew. I'm, I can be a pretty stubborn person until I'm proven, until it's proven to me that what I'm trying to learn is, is right. Mm -hmm. So the other thing is um, that's growing your visibility when you join Facebook groups too and you interact with them and um, keep track of the groups you're in on a spreadsheet and then highlight the ones that you want to go to on a regular basis so that you'll be able to do that. Mm -hmm. The other thing that's really cool is that you can link your Facebook page to Twitter. Now I have my page and my profile linked to Twitter. So every time I post, it goes on Twitter. So that's giving me more visibility. And then I also, as I said earlier, I believe, I pay attention to my insights daily, and that tells me how my posts are doing and who's interacting with them, what's doing better, am I lower this day, what time of the day were better posts, and then I post more of what did well. So uh, I also try to engage with the people that like my posts, and um, they, I may not even know them because they might have seen it on somebody else's mm -hmm. um, you know, information. But what I do is I'll say, hey, Connie, thanks for coming by and, and liking this information. And I might even ask a question. And a lot of times we'll get a conversation going. And that's fun because that's what you're there for. That's engagement. So I ask specific questions. So one of the things you can do to help um, give you ideas for posting, because you don't want to post your own information all day long. You want to share other people's information. So I could go to your page, Connie and see something that's really doing well, because your audience may be the same as mine, and I'll say, well, I'm going to share that. And then I'm going to put my own little message at the top, and, and it'll have to do with my marketing message. Mm -hmm. And I can say, do you do things like this, and how has it helped you? I love it when people do this or, and, make, and interact. And I talk in my regular voice. I used to talk like, um, I used to be a loan officer, and then before that I was an executive director, so it's like, I was very careful how I talked. You know, I didn't talk slang. Um, now I talk a little bit more slang and because I, I, I talk in, naturally that way. So you can also ask edgy questions. Um, you can ask true or false questions, which I do. Um, I also ask questions about a video or, or a photo that I put up. And I ask fun questions. I'll put up fun videos. Uh, some of the fun videos that I get um, a lot of comments on, are cat videos. Isn't that funny? I don't have a cat, yeah, but I love I've heard it. the cat videos are very popular. Right. And it's even on TV. They make jokes about it. I was surprised. But when I do that, I'll just say, 
Don't you wish that you had more time off of Facebook so you could play with your cat? I'm just making that up on the go here. So then I can say, if you want more time to play with your cat like this, check out what you can do on my page or something to that effect. Mm -hmm. so it ties back to my business. So I'm not just posting fun stuff and wasting my time. Okay, and so you can even ask fill in the blank questions and always reply and pay attention. Um, now I've said a lot of things. What in there caught your attention to ask a question or or think something that you do? Yeah, so I guess what I'm wondering, Donna, and we've we've got about five minutes left, so um you know what I'm wondering is, you know, because I work with a lot of spiritual entrepreneurs. And they're not necessarily techie. And so I'm wondering, like, what's one first step someone who's not technically, technically oriented can do with their Facebook page? That's easy. Post daily and find out, well, the insights may be a little too techie for them, but post daily and mm -hmm. um if they join my, my free group, which if you like, I can put that down. But I do have videos in there. And I, on my page, actually, I have videos of how to do certain things on Facebook. But nice. post, post daily and be consistent. And if you have um, 500 people or less, I would just post once a day, maybe twice. And mm -hmm. um, don't be all about yourself, as I said. Um, share other people's information, your competition even. And uh, make sure that you're talking about yourself in the comments, though. Mm -hmm. And um, then if you have a little bit more, maybe uh, 1,500, then maybe you can post a little bit more daily and see how well they're doing. If you go to my Facebook page, actually, it does have the um, videos on there of how to find the insights and how well you're doing. I have a lot of different things on there to share with you how to do different things. Nice. So so people, once people go to the giveaway link that we're going to share and they go get your freebie, I'm assuming that they'll they'll get some information about your Facebook group and how to connect with you on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. OK, perfect. OK, perfect. And um, you know what I wanted to leave with? And again, just the reminder that this online giveaway, um, the Limitless Living giveaway ends on Thursday at midnight. Um, and here's how you go to find the gifts, okay? In fact, um, let me make a note to myself, and I will go do the instructions again in the post on how to find the gift. Okay, how to find the gifts. So, you know, Donna's great Facebook checklist. Um, so what you can do is um, you log into the giveaway, okay, and you'll see a menu at the top. I think the tabs are purple this time around. And look for the tab that says Get Gifts at the top. I think it's on the top right. And then on that page, go look at the right, and then about halfway down, you'll see there's um, General Downloads. And you want to click on that. And then what you want to do is you'll be able to scroll through. There's only like about five pages, so it's not like, you know, it's going to take you forever. But I just, um, Donna, I just actually looked for your freebie. So if you, Donna's, um, Donna's checklist for Facebook, it's a blue um, image, a blue graphic. So look for blue as you're scrolling through. And her gift will be probably around page three. So what I would do is go to page one of the downloads and scroll through and look for the blue logo, two, and then it should be somewhere between page one and page three when you go in and download that great checklist um, from Donna. And just remember that the giveaway ends on Thursday at midnight. Um, so you want to go in there now and get those. And then, of course, when you download Donna's gift for the Facebook checklist, you'll be able to stay in touch with her and hear, you know, more tips that she has for people that she posts in her own Facebook group and her own Facebook page. So, Donna, any one last quick thing that you want to leave people with? Um, I think that people get frustrated with Facebook and uh, because they spend so much time on it and playing with it that they just kind of give up on it. So mm -hmm. you, as I said, do it daily, post consistently. And if you need help, I'm here. I also do it for some of my clients. So they can always visit with me and join classes of mine, but um, join the, the, just look at the videos even. Yeah. So I think it's just being consistent 
and not waste your time on Facebook. Just spend, make it your goal to spend 30 to 45 minutes a day and get it done. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's great. That's great. Because people feel as if uh, Facebook and then they just kind of get lost forever, right? And then time ticks by. So so the giveaway ends on Thursday at midnight. Thursday is the 12th at midnight US EST. Um, and go down to the Get Gifts, download the general uh, general downloads, and then look for Donna's gift, which is blue, the Facebook checklist. And Donna, thanks so much for being here. And everybody have fun. Okay. Let, just remember there's lots of free gifts in there that really can help you with your most pressing problems, you know, in terms of whether it's Facebook or something else. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Connie.